Hello everyone, my name is Larsef and welcome back to episode 34 of our Naples campaign in Europa Universalis 4. So in this episode, I'm thinking the first thing we need to do is probably um, conquer Jared, the Jared rather. Um, who am I going to take, bring back to, I think I'll bring our diplomat back from the Mamluks to deal with that. They want a royal marriage. I've already got one with Tem uh, Tlemcen. Yep. Um, I'm going to give these provinces to Mamluks because um, Tlemcen are going to get all of this, um, which is sort of a... Well, actually, no. Who do I want to give it to? I should really... No. I'm going to give these to Tlemcen, actually, because of the culture, um, which is Tunisian. I think that's an accepted culture. It's, yeah, it's in the same culture group, so it's sort of okay-ish. Reason I was going to give it to the Mamluks is so that they could have a bit more development, because at the moment they've got next to nothing. But I suppose it won't really matter. That once, hopefully, we get to war with the Ottomans, we're going to get them a lot of their promises back, so their development will increase quite quickly. So let's, oh, click the wrong button. Declare war. Um... That's fine. You go there, you go there. Uh, what's this? Um, yep, that's fine. Five influence. There we go, lovely. And we'll, this war will be over in... I'm not gonna bother sending my uh, diplomat back to Mamluks because this war will be over pretty fast. Um, one thing I, that I also thought of is that I'll need to start getting claims on Venice again, because we don't actually have that at the moment. I can get, get my next military tech. I'm miles ahead, though. I'm probably going to need to get a military idea next, so that's fine. And honourable people, we are. Right, there we go. War's over. So I'm going to give both of these to... Clemson. I take all of their money and do that. Oh, and we just finished converting Tunis, which gave us a bunch of uh, papal influence, which means we could bump up our mercantilism again. What's our mercantilism actually at? Should be quite high now. 28%. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Um, and we'll continue converting. Um, we'll leave our armies there for the moment just to deal with any unrest, because there is quite a lot. Um, and we, I guess, should send our, one of our guys back to improve relations with the Mamluks. I think, oh, one of our generals died, and it was our two-star general as well. We'll replace him... Um, when it comes time to go to war again. Speaking of which, I think that will probably be against Castile. Because um, at the moment I have... Yeah, I have a few claims in Castile. Do I want to get... Where else do I want to get a claim? It's probably going to be... In this province here, I think. Yeah, let's have a go with that. So we get a... Unless I can get another one. Melila. Oh no, I can't get claims on these ones, but I don't want... Ideally, I'd want Tlemcen to get claims on these, but... I don't think they are going to... Let's have a look, have they? They do not, and they have not started. Can we actually see what they are doing? No. Spy network wise, I meant. Who are France currently at war with? Savoy, Commonwealth, and Bohemia. Oh dear. There's a rather large war going on there. Uh, France have finally flipped there. Um, they have added Commonwealth as a rival. So now Commonwealth and France dislike me. <laughs> 
both of them dislike me because of um, my alliance to the other one, which is not ideal. So where's our next avenue of expansion? Um, what I ideally would have wanted is to basically unite... Actually, one second, let me deactivate my forts, because I'll give us a bit more money. Um, what I would have wanted was to unite... Um, well, essentially, go to war with the Ottomans with all of my allies. So, France, Commonwealth, Bohemia by proxy, because Bohemia is uh, in the personal union under Commonwealth. Um, that's about it. We need to find some way of uh, cutting the Ottomans down to size, I think. Um... Let's build, let's put our money to use and actually build some more things. We haven't done that in a little while. As you can tell by the huge number of, uh, <laughs> huge amount of money we've got sat sitting around. Um, da -da 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 -da. I suppose we could just build it in most places. I'm trying to only spend it in the places that give us the most money, but... We're not, we're down to sort of minute amounts of money at this point. Uh, what about production facilities? Anywhere down here that's going to give us a benefit. Ah, there was workshop. A workshop, yeah. Uh, training fields. Um, probably one there is probably fine. I'm not so sure about the other one, anything else. Trade Depot. There's good. Anywhere else? I mean, in principle, I could build Trade Depot in most of these places, but at the moment, it seems like a bit of a waste of money in comparison to building, like, manufactories and other bits and pieces. That's worthwhile building there, I think. Hmm... That is a really pitifully small amount of money for, uh... That's because the autonomy is so high, I guess. Is there anything I can do... Build in... Any of these provinces that isn't... They've got regimental camps and a dock. And another regimental camp. Completely useless. <laughs> Completely useless. Oh well. Um, and they're really low development. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's continue. We were paused there for a little while. So, what I want to do now is wait, for, I guess, wait for this war to end. The Spain. I mean, I should really build another army, I guess. We're making loads of money now. We're actually not necessarily build another army, but expand the army we currently have. So, let's build. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, oh, five, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Add all, we'll add all those to this our, our army in northern Italy, because realistically, it would make sense to have the bigger army sort of towards Europe, just because that's where all of our sort of rivals are going to be. Um... To Gore. All right, we'll deal with that first. Right, so the nation of Milan, your faithful ally, is requesting you come to the aid in the Milanese conquest of Valis against Savoy, Commonwealth, Bohemia. Um. So this is they've essentially made us choose. Do we choose France or do we do choose the Commonwealth and Bohemia? Because it, it essentially ruins our alliance. Well, actually, I suppose it's not choosing between France and Commonwealth Bohemia because we'll still keep our alliance with France. We'll just lose our alliance with Milan. But equally, you, if I recall, don't you lose trust? 
Or maybe that's in the next patch you lose trust if you decline a call to arms. I think we sort of have to accept. Because I still want France to help me. I want to keep France sweet because I want to help me. I want them to help me with my... Um, Iberian ambitions, shall we say. And one thing... Oh, actually, one thing I completely forgot about that I was going to do was... Actually, it's sort of... It's useful that I'm now... I've now gone to war. Because all my ships are in dock, which means I can tell them to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade all of my ships, including the fleet, which I've literally only just built anyway. And uh, we need to find you a leader. Not great, but you'll do. Um, right, so where do we want to go? What we what we actually doing? Let's go and grab the war goal, I think. Eep, that is a good leader. Okay. We've got some rebels. We sort of barged our way, attacked into a mountain, which is a really stupid thing to do. Um, however, let's turn this over to Milan, as it's the war goal. Let's consolidate our regiments. Um, oh, I thought they were going to attack me then. I'm going to pop myself on the war goal, I think. Actually, no, they've routed. So I'm going to go after Savoy's capital. There's nowhere else where they're threatening me, are they? That is there, rather. Nope. The rebels have been dealt with. Where else is having uh, rebel issues? Let's send these guys up to Kef. We're gaining manpower back pretty fast. I like it. Um, what inflation are we at? It's not very... Oh, no, it's actually... No, that's fine. We can accept that much inflation. It'll go down pretty fast anyway. Um, Trier's... Okay, so Ottomans are going to... Ottomans forced Trier to get rid of their alliance with Austria, which means the Ottomans are probably going to attack Austria very soon. Um, land maintenance modifier and a plus three guy. How close are we to getting this next idea group? We're quite a ways off. Um, we'll just go for this plus three guy, I think, at the moment. We're still making 25 ducats a month. That's perfectly respectable. We're getting a lot of attrition because loads of people are passing through this location. We need to take... This is the only problem... Well, the only problem if you're attacking Savoy, but the sort of blessing if you're... Uh, the only blessing if you are... Savoy themselves is that all of your land being essentially mountainous means that your forts take an absolute age to be siege down. Right, so we can now get next diplo tech and the next military tech, which means we're miles ahead now on military stuff. Um which is fabulous. So it means now that all military points we'll get, we're going to save them up, and hopefully we'll have a load left over for when it comes time to get our next idea group. So we could just buy like the first two or three ideas straight away. Are we still doing the policy? Have we still got the policy for um? What am I doing? Yeah, the reduced idea cost policy. Yeah, we're still doing that. Probably don't need to necessarily, but hey-ho. 
Uh, where do we want to send this fleet? Uh, we'll get to protect trade in... Where would be the best place? Alexandria might not be such a bad... Or oh, Constantinople. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I butcher that name. Constant... Constantinople. Um, the only problem with putting them in Constantinople is that um, when it does come time to go to war with the Ottomans, or if they declare war, we're going to have to get our, get our guys back pretty sharpish. Okay, they would actually still go into an alliance, which is fine. So what we'll do is we'll re-ally Commonwealth straight after this, which works perfectly for me. We're still at minus 49. That's obscene. Uh, that can go to Milan. And as can this go to Milan. Give Milan all the war score. Ah. Oh, what are the Ottomans doing in this war? Oh, uh, Ottomans have declared war on Austria. Finally. Damn it, I thought I'd be able to grab that. Intervene in that war. Is there any more unrest? Is anyone else planning on rising up? Kufra and Gafsa. Ravensburg got pieced out. Is there anyone we can go after? Let's go after Bohemia. I hope we don't get sort of ruffle stomped by somebody. Okay, two of a kind. No other queen consort is as brave as our Shahira. Du -du 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 -du. I'd rather have the military power. To be honest, I don't need a uh, level 3 advisor at the moment. Just got one, after all. Oh dear. I'd rather retreat than lose. Or rather retreat than be routed, I guess. I can't believe they've just... Have they lost the war goal? Milan are not really doing all that great at this, are they? Need to go back... Go and people state send an insult against me. That's not very nice. Um, I need to go back and get the, get the war goal back, I think, don't I? Palace. Hey, game one mercantilism. Love free mercantilism. Best type of mercantilism, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to go up and let's go and grab the... Let's go and grab the war goal again. God knows why we lost it, or who took it from us. It might have even been, what, Savoy that captured the war goal? There we go. As soon as I conquered it, they uh, captured it, they got it. Um, they owe us four favours. Savoy cede Piedmont, Montfrat, Albenga to Milan. Savoy will cede Wallis. What? No, that's not correct. It says Savoy will cede Wallis to Naples. That's just wrong. I am... I am Naples. And that is quite clearly belongs to Milan. 
That is really weird. Anywho, um, I'm going to immediately get a alliance back with Commonwealth. Um, um, Commonwealth, I don't know if you just saw that, just laid a claim to Denmark. How, let's go, uh, let's just set improving our relations with France and Commonwealth. And probably Milan as well. Milan just laid claim to... Oh dear. Yeah, they has got ears on the... So basically Denmark currently have a personal union over Russia. So, and Russia, I mean, obviously... They're not as big as they were, but they are still quite large. And Commonwealth have just laid claim to them. Livonian Order look like they've just popped out of the Commonwealth though, because I'm pretty sure... Commonwealth own, owned that land. I might be imagining things. In any case, what are we going to do now? I feel like... Can we do any great power? Could we intervene in a war? That might... I'm thinking... This is what I'm thinking. Is that we could intervene in a war against the Ottomans... Or just declare our own war. Maybe we'll try that. So we'll bring our guy back from France, actually. Just just before the episode ends. France would join us. Why would the Commonwealth not? They're lots in debt and they don't owe us favours. Okay, we're at zero favours. What if I intervened? Uh, choose war to intervene in. Okay, choose war to intervene in. Oh, we can intervene in this war because there's... What? Uh, why wouldn't it let me? There is an imbalance of great powers. There are two great powers. And only one on this side. Unless it counts Austria as a great power. Are they great power? Surely not. No. That makes no sense. Anywho. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to deactivate my forts. And I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and in next episode, we'll see if we can... Well, we'll probably go to war with Spain. And then see if we could do something with the Ottomans. Um, but thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you in the next episode. Take care.